just set it over there and you can hold the wheels. As long as you don't drop them, throw them, juggle them, eat them, Shut lick up. them. We're just rolling through all the possibilities. Oh. I'll just edit out the beginning. Clint! <laughs> he licks the wheel! Alright. <laughs> You've lost your wheel stop. packages. <laughs> well then stop licking them. Alright. Today we're here to review the orangutan stimulus. 86A orangutan stimuluses. And we also have the 83A with us. But we're not really reviewing them. We're just reviewing stims overall. Alright. So, I have my stimuluses on my Tansy end here. And I used to have the purple ones on my super model, but I didn't. I took them off because I didn't like them that much. Alright, Clint, you go first since technically you've owned them longer. Okay. The stimuluses, they're like. <clears throat> if you're going at like really low speeds and doing like 180s, they're not all that good because they're. It's actually. I find it actually really hard to go at a low speed and do a 180. Yeah. Um, because they have some grip, they have but, grip. yeah, they, they're not like 86A is like super slidey. Yeah. It's same. like different formulas and stuff. Well, look, uh, if you want an example of them sliding, you can go to our video, Premature Shark. If you want, I'll put a link. Where should I put it? You should put it. Right on his face. Right there. Right here. Right there. <laughs> I moved it. It's over there now. All right. Um, um, and they're pretty, like, choppy compared to Colt Classics, which are, like, really smooth. Point and they, the Colt mid-switch. And they, um, they don't, like, chatter as much, and they don't make as much noise. And it just, like, the stimuluses don't really live up to the hype. Yeah, they've really been pumped up by Rangitang's. companies like Loaded, who work in cooperation with Orangutan, and they've got some really good riders who know how to make them look like really good wheels. Mm -hmm. No offense to the riders, that are, they're amazing. They are. Um, yeah. Alright, I guess I'll give a few more opinions. Oh, they're 70 millimeter, in case you were wondering. Yeah, but, oh. Uh, I am less experienced than Clint. I am not as good at sliding, and these are just not that great of a wheel, in my opinion. I can slide them. I can pull off 180. I can pull up heel side 180s, and that's all I can do. I mean, I can do hand slides and stuff easily, but yeah. I can't do full ones. They're pretty good for tech sliding because you're putting more of your weight on your hands instead of on the board. So there's less traction on the board. And if you'll notice... Or on the wheels. Well, you can't really notice because Clint doesn't have his stems with him right here. But mine, when I slide them, mine don't really, like, wear down. They sort of just, they, they blacken. I guess it's because I'm not as heavy. And so my slides are also not as smooth. And Clint's, like, are actually wearing down as he's yeah, sliding. Yeah, they wear... I've, I went through one pair, and I didn't core them, but I wore them down pretty much so that the ride was, like, effective and it... Like but uneven. they're actually a fairly slow wearing wheel compared to other wheels, which took is me why about I a, like them. Took me about a month to wear mine down where it was coning pretty substantially. And some people can flat spot wheels in like two weeks and stuff. Yeah. Or even just one like hard session. They don't wear down as fast as like some wheels that wear down really fast. Alright, um, let's see. Uh... What else did I have to say about them? They are definitely, I completely agree with Clint that they're overhyped. And, oh, you see a lot of guys on like Silverfish and stuff who just completely hate on them. Yeah, they're They totally overhate, I think they do, but they are not the greatest wheel. If they dropped them like to like $35, they might be, that's a terrible parent. They might be um, reasonable, but they're not the greatest. All right. You have anything else to say? Your overall opinion, like how you rec do you recommend them to certain riders? Um. Um. No. If you don't, if you want to slide smooth, you should get like cult classic and 
they have so much smoother. And then I heard um, Hesher Snowballs were really good. And they were just a little bit icier than Classics. And then Metro Motions are really good too. And then I, I'm going to try to pick up some Venom Tweakers. But... Hmm. Alright. And uh, for me, I, I'll just ride these until they come, or until I just, because I, I don't, I don't really feel like spending money on new wheels, but, um, yeah, I would recommend them to people who just want to do some short slides, not anything real extreme, and if they're, they're actually pretty grippy, so they're, they're good for like downhill and stuff, and they're a fast wheel, they are, faster than, I don't know, would you say they're faster than the Colts? No, well, if once you break in the Colts, they're a lot faster. And the in the beginning, when the Colts, when you get the Colts, they like they like piss you off so much because they're so slow. All right, I think that's is that all we have to say. Yep. Except. Right. And we've never really pulled off long stand-up slides. Like but we've thing. gotten like. No, we haven't. Yeah. All right, so but, um, we will be bringing a review of the Colts eventually. Yeah. But we. Clint probably want to ride them more. And if I ever pick a pair, of, two pairs up, then I'll... Um, two pairs? Yeah. I like the fruits. All right. If you probably think, if you thought this review was bad, just tell us. We'll answer any of your questions. And, uh, bye. Whole tank stimulus for free ride. Yeah, that's going to get it out.